the new Hudson blade set set works. Um, that's the computer automated system that will help you adjust your blade height and give you some nice, easy, accurate lumber. So many of the functions that are on this set works are actually duplicate functions. Some of the buttons are going to do the same thing as the other buttons. It's whatever the user wants to do. So I'm just going to go through it that the way we're going to basically present it um, from, from the factory and then it can go from there. Factory settings, a couple things that we need to watch for is that when the mill is off and you, you were to move the head, if this is not on, it's not going to know where it is anymore and you have to re-zero out your scale. While we're here, we got the mill head on, we're making our sure our mill head's already off. Power button is on the bottom. So power's up and we are right. It's saying we're at one, mill head's at one, it's all the way down. Going over some of the buttons on here, you have a settings button. So that's how you'd get into the back end of the computer system and you can, you, there's nothing on here you can't change. So you could mess this up in a hurry um, if you start just hitting buttons and changing stuff. And But they do have some safety in there because there's a code that you have to put in to get into the back system. So there's a function code gets you in the back system that's in the book, 3068. Uh, this button here is your curve setting. And that comes preset from the factory for our 042 blades. Uh, that curve, if you want to do different blades, you have to reference your book, get the blade dimension. It's literally a press and hold, enter it in, and you can change your curve setting. This button here is your off deck. I like to call it a zero out button. So you can say you messed it up and it doesn't know where the head is anymore. It's easy to reset the set works to your scale stick. Um, the easiest way I find is just use your bottom, you know, mill head all the way down. You know, that's one inch, set that to one inch. So if you turn it on, this thing says it's at 15 inches and the head's down or the head's up and it says it's at one. Now you're messed up. Put everything down, press and hold the um, zero out button, as I like to call it, and tell it where it's at, hit enter, done. You gotta, you gotta press and hold it for, I think, three or five seconds. It gives you a little beep and then you can set it in. It's got a brightness button that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, make sure we got it on high with this Colorado sun that we're in. Um, this is, this robot here, this is a calibration button. Basically, you set your blade height, your go-to a few times, um, and then you tell it to calibrate. So if you're starting to see that your cuts aren't as accurate as you can and this this is very accurate it's amazingly accurate you want one inch it's going to give you one inch um, just take a couple seconds hit the calibration it brings the mill head up down does a couple clicks adjustments and it it, it realigns itself and you get accurate lumber again this button here is our go-to button um, that's again pretty self-explanatory if you want it to go to a height you just punch in whatever you want it to go to hit go to Mill's gonna go up to 10 inches. How do I look at my scale? Perfect. Nice. Um, and then this button here, but this is your mark your last cut button. So when you're making dimensional lumber or whatever that you're cutting, this is a memory button because it needs to know where you want. So say you're cutting dimensional lumber and you don't want to pop the boards off each time. Um, you're gonna when you start your cuts, you're gonna hit the mark my spot. And then you can start doing all your presets to whatever boards that you want to cut from there. Uh, and when you hit what's called the bump up button, which is here or here, it's going to go above that last cut. So the way the factory fixes your bump up button is there's four different there's four different settings that you can choose um, for your bump up button. What Hudson's going to factory set this at is it's going to be a half inch above your marked cut. So if you keep cutting down, cutting down, make your cut, cut down, it's always gonna come up above your initial cut. That can be changed in different stuff and you can even change how high it comes above your cut. We're setting it at half an inch. So going over your S1 through four here, those are just simple um, preset buttons. From the factory, we're gonna have a, what's a three quarter board. Then we have one inch board, two inch board, and a four inch board. These are easy to change if you wanted to change them. Again, it's just a, a press and hold, tell what it is, and you're all set. And you can change them out. 
uh, to whatever your presets are. So if you're cutting and you have your presets, you can cut on your presets. If you didn't want to do that, you can uh, we'll cancel out of here. You can tell it what you want to cut. Uh, say you want to cut a, a, a three inch board. So hit your three and you're gonna um, start cutting three inch boards. Another feature which is really nice on this is we're at 10 inches and you want to divide out equally so you can uh, divide it down by, so you're going to hit the divide button and then it cancel out of here, divide, three, enter. Right down to three inches. Hit it again, another three inches. And it knows when you bottom out, so you can't go. And that's a calculating for the kerf on the blade. I like using the big buttons, um, going back to how this functions. So the first two big buttons down here are your raise and lower. Your blue button is your bump button and your yellow button is your enter or next cut button. Next cut button. Um, so I guess we could kind of go through a, a play. We'll bring it up to uh, 10 inches again. Hit your go-to. <coughs> We're gonna mark our cut. So now it knows where its cut is. Um, so make your cut, you wanna go down to your next cut. So we're gonna do, uh, I don't know, we'll do three quarter board. So hit enter. It goes down to a three quarter board. Hit your bump up button, <coughs> make your cut. At the end of the log, hit your bump up button. Now it's above that initial cut. It's saying 10 and a half. So it knows that it has to go to 10 and a half. Make your next cut, you just hit enter. It went down three quarters of an inch from the first cut that we did and calculated the blade curve on it. Make your first cut, hit your bump up, drive it again. Anybody notice what I have not looked at while I'm pretend milling right here? I have not looked at the scale. You, 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 you don't look at the scale. It does have a digital readout here, so it tells you where you're at, but you don't need to look at your scale anymore, which is pretty, pretty neat. So the limits, the max and low limits. The H360 has basically two safeties now if you have the set works on it. It's factory set for your max cut and your bottom cut. Um, and the H360 also has limit switches, so it can go. One thing that's important is that cable has to say, stay tight. That's why those limit switches are on there. Because if your cable were to loosen up, if you went down and loosen up the cable, that's gonna throw off. Mm -hmm. Your, your reader. The high and low limits are set. If it's ordered at the factory, it's preset for the mill. Um, you'd have to set it, if you retrofit this, you'd have to set that yourself, or if you want to add it on as an option. Um, we have written instructions uh, for, the, for, for the factory settings. So factory settings are in there, written instructions as a, a quick reference, because the book has got a lot of information in it. Oh yeah. It's a good accessory, absolutely. Yeah. 